All right, welcome to round two of our Northland update. Uh, it's been 30 days, and you can see over my shoulder that there's quite a bit of activity going out here. This is the front entryway. Uh, I'm told, weather permitting, the walls will be poured on Monday. So the, by, by the time you see this, those walls will be poured. Um, this is a, a, an extension of the building. There will be a large glass structure built on top, and then there will be two large stairways down to the basement. Okay, and uh, I do want to also show off my safari hat. Um, we found out last time we filmed that we were not uh, exactly following all the OSHA's rules and regulations, so you can't see him, but Gary has a shiny white hard hat on too, so we're super safe this time. Uh, anyhow, what you see here now is the studs for the uh, new practice rooms and adjunct professors. Um, this used to be a hallway down the kind of the eastern half of the building, so uh, and up above, you can see the new ductwork is in place, so quite a bit of the in infrastructure work is underway. Right here you can see the copper lines. These are the new copper lines that will carry the hot water for the, uh, the new heating system. So quite a bit of copper has been run, quite a bit of soldering has been done. Uh, so that's another sign of, of good progress. You can see right here that they're working on the inside walls here. Um, and where those guys are standing down there will actually be the new piano lab. Um, so we're going to make use of every square foot we've got here in this, in this new building. Um, but right now they're working on the walls and um, yeah, they got a great day too. Okay, this is North Lawn 111 and I bring you in here because um, you can see they're working on the stud walls here and you can see the unevenness of this wall. The purpose of that is to make it better acoustically. Um, flat walls tend to reflect and reverberate in not the right way. So um, this wall will be an uneven, irregular wall, as will the wall to my right here. There will be some protrusions on it. And what this does, it captures the sound and treats it in such a way so that acoustically it's better for singing. Once again, this will be the orchestra practice room also, uh, just to dovetail on my last comment, you can see the uneven walls here, kind of the same treatment. Uh, nice large room, here where our practice rooms used to be. Okay, now we're in the basement, and a lot of the work in the past month has occurred down here. Uh, we're looking towards the west end, and all these stud walls are the new, that's a new practice room, that's a new practice room, that's a new practice room. As we work to the west, we have the green room, we have a dressing room. Right here are the new restrooms, men's, and right there is the new restroom, women's, I believe. Further to the west is storage for theater props, etc., and costume type stuff. Now here we are, kind of in the center of the basement. To my right is where the new boiler room will be, um, you know, the working parts of our heating and eight, ventilation air conditioning system. One step further, Directly through here is a little alcove, and right back there is the new kitchen, um, kitchen kitchenette, where you know we can do some light cooking there. To my left, there will be two more practice rooms, but obviously they're not built yet because they're working on the outside walls, but that will happen once the outside wall cures up. Um, standing right about here is where the new entrance from the upstairs glass enclosure will be. There will be a stairway to the west, a stairway to the east, and it will open up right about here. And looking straight to the north is the new fairly large classroom. It's a big space. It's very comparable to Smith 119. Um, we're anticipating around a 48 to 50 seat capacity. Okay, and then right here, I'm standing in what's a fairly large, lengthy, just student lounge. An area with uh, lazy chairs, that sort of thing. Practice rooms will be open and available down there. This will be an inter a middle part that can have study rooms, study tables, love seats, that sort of thing. It will all come this way, and then here on our east end, this is the campus worship space. So we've pretty well taken the whole trip here. Um, duct work is up here, copper's in place there. That area is a storage area for tables and chairs. And this whole area here 
will be the campus worship space or whatever other group wants to meet in there. So that's this month's tour. Uh, progress is happening, and thank you for your attendance and time.